Hey, I'm Tracy from Thor Motor Coach. And I am Steve from Thor Motor Coach. We are in the kitchen for mobile meals and something a little more labor intensive tonight. Yes, this is kind of like Saturday night fancy dinner, right? We have a couple of different names for it. We can call it chicken. Nobody except Steve in the house likes mushrooms and pasta. It's full of mushrooms. It is tasty though, and you can eat around them. Right, so. I leave them big and then you can pick them out, which but, everybody does, and then they give them to me. Dad, you want my mushrooms? <laughs> I sure do. But it's a really good chicken linguine dish that we're going to help you make today. That's right. The entire recipe will be at the end, but it's got wine and heavy cream and some cheese and some garlic and some spinach and the dreaded mushrooms. In fact, there's mushrooms why Tom no longer does this. He said, no. <laughs> I made we're just giving Tom just a break. hard time. So <laughs> what we do first is we take and we just boil linguine. Yeah. You know how to do that, right? We already have it in the pot to save some time. And we did use, we should mention, we did use the wheat version, right? This is the wheat pasta? No, you can use the wheat oh, version if you want. Oh, I thought we did. I'm not going that healthy. This has got heavy cream. <laughs> Why am I putting What's wheat pasta point? in okay. it? Let's just go all out and yeah. just do it. Plus, I think the wheat pasta sometimes has a little funk to it. Sometimes it, it does. It tastes a little funky. I don't know. But that's just me. You can use it if you want. You can, you can even use half and half instead of the heavy cream if you want. And if there's extra wine, you can go ahead and drink that. <laughs> And who knows, maybe you will you'll say, these mushrooms are really good. Where have you been before, mushrooms? Dinner maybe what you're doing better later. And better. Yeah, because, well, it depends how much wine you drink. All right, so we got our pan heating up here. Let's go ahead and put some oil in here. And we are going to put our boneless, skinless chicken breast in. I, I like to cut them really thin so they cook really, really fast. And in they go. Whoop, got a straggler. There we right. go. Go ahead and put a little salt and pepper on that to taste, if you would, please. Absolutely. I like my salt and pepper. Go ahead and little put it on there. Too a little much. to a lot. That's all right. Then after this cooks, and it doesn't, it's like four minutes, five minutes aside. You set it aside, and then we start to uh, throw in all the other ingredients. We have rosemary and garlic and spinach, and again the mushrooms, and then you have the sauce, and you top it with a little bit of cheese. All right. Our chicken is brown, tender, and ready to be put aside. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to mix in some mushrooms, some spinach, some garlic, and some mm -hmm. rosemary. So let's do that. This I'll put this into a bowl. Together. You want to get the other things. Help me scoop okay. that out. All right. And let's go ahead and put in some everybody except dad hates mushrooms. This goes in here too. Yep, some spinach. Oop. Oh, you don't want to. Well, in our house with two golden retrievers, <laughs> literally everything gets hairy. It gets hairy. Dad, there's a dog hair on my hot dog. Pick it off, honey. <laughs> All right, so we are going to cook this and let this kind of cook together, come together, and wilt down a little bit. Right, and I'm starting to think about eating. And then sometimes, you know, with a nice dinner like this, you might be thinking, I'd love to have a drink with that. And that's where Kelsey comes in. We're going to go to her at O'Rourke's, where she's going to talk about how to make a classic cocktail. Hi there, my name is Kelsey. Today we're going to be starting with a Tropical Isle Martini. What you're going to do is grab your favorite coconut rum. We like to use Rum Haven. You're going to grab your pint glass, pour an ounce and a quarter into the pint glass. And then you're going to grab a pineapple juice, and do a splash of that in there for you. And then you're gonna grab your lime juice, do a splash of that in there. Fill it with ice. Put it in your martini shaker. Hit it to make sure that it's secure. Take it on out for you. Open it up. Grab your martini glass and your strainer. You're going to strain it over the top of it. And then here comes the fun part. You're going to grab a cherry and blue curacao liqueur. You're going to grab it and strain it over the cherry. And then you're going to drop your cherry in it. And that's a chopped bile martini. Now that you've had a lovely cocktail, it is time to pick up where we left off. That's right, we're gonna add some things now. We're gonna add our heavy cream, we get our wine, and our chicken broth. And you're gonna bring this to a boil, and you're gonna reduce the heat, 
and kind of let it simmer and get thick. And then we'll put the chicken back in and the pasta. And well, drinks are being whipped up, we went ahead and strained the pasta. Just like that, so get that turned up. Mix it all up. And we'll put the lid on and let it simmer for a few minutes. All right, everything has cooked down. A couple more things to add. That's right, we're gonna add the pasta first. That's the side. Right, then we're going down. to uh, mix that up a little bit and fold in our chicken. Fold in our chicken? You're making it sound so fancy. <laughs> I don't even know if that's an appropriate term, but <laughs> we're at, least used, at least used in this context. But we're doing it. We're, we're gonna, just we're a just couple cooking day. together. We're not professional chefs. <laughs> there we go. Whoop, there, oh, yeah, there we go. All right. And looks delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let that yeah. simmer for just a couple minutes. Got my scooper. Mm, he's ready. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got. That off. Nice thing about that, it turns off automatically. Put our lid aside and look at look that. Look at that. Yeah. You Sweet. Can maybe pick out the mushrooms with this. <laughs> now, that's kind of strange with sauce. This is probably the Poor choice of utensils. It's what I grabbed. A little here. There you go. Well, now let me scoop in the bottom where all the mushrooms are hiding. Hiding in he the basement. He likes his mushrooms. The basement. There you go, nice and hot and mm -hmm. steamy. We cook like this every night at Every home. night. Just so we wear these aprons and I mow the lawn in a suit. No. <laughs> right. And then we'll sprinkle a little, little garnish. A little, here. little garnish. Just a little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese there. A little sprinkle there. Because <laughs> you can never have too much cheese. And there you go. You have some pasta, some linguine, some chicken, mm. some mushrooms. Fancy any night dinner. Yes, it is. And it's not too long to make. Either. No. It goes it together good. pretty quick. The entire recipe is at the end of this episode. So go ahead and when you have a chance, make it. That's right. And thanks for being here for Mobile Meals. We really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. <laughs>